My name is Jacob Davis. I am from Shreveport, Louisiana. I went to LSU. Go Tigers. I grew up around music. Uh, it's kind of the typical story. My mom played piano in church and sang in the choir. My dad uh, played guitar and uh, wrote songs. And I didn't necessarily take to it until I was a little older. And it really turned into something uh, when I got in college. I knew that it was something serious. And a lot of people say kind of a blessing and a curse thing. But I don't know, man. It's just when it gets you, it gets you. So. Uh, I did that and was playing a lot of those bars and my parents wanted to kill me, you know, just because I had a degree and it wasn't what I went to school for and what they paid for. But um, I wound up going to work uh, for an oil and gas company and, and I knew right off the bat that it was not what I wanted to do. First two weeks working the night shift on an oil rig, it was not ideal, but I did it for, uh, for a year, learned work ethic and honestly it was the best thing that I've done. I learned um, how to work hard. Uh, and I moved to Nashville with that mentality. Things kind of happened fairly quick. I signed a publishing deal pretty fast. It was just kind of been off to the races ever since. Uh, I took the first two years writing songs and really figuring out who I was as an artist, you know, and you find so much about where you really come from and, and who you come from and what music means to you. Uh, so as far as the band goes, the guys come from a more rock and roll background. Uh, we went, you know, more uh, unorthodox way of putting it all together. I mean, these guys, they're rock and roll. I can't thank my guys enough for doing what they do because they're the ones that take a song that comes from a writer room acoustically or at my house and they bring them to life and they throw gas on them. And that's what we want. You definitely dream about being on the road and, and uh, going from place to place and traveling the country. And that's why I was so eager to do it because I knew it's what I wanted to do. You get out there and uh, I mean, it's nuts. I mean, it, they're it's just the funniest things you've ever seen in your life happen. And, you know, not to sound cheesy, but they are precious moments. You know, you, you come back from the road and uh, you miss it. You know, it's crazy. Everybody says that you're two days in and you miss it. Just the funniness, the, uh, the joking, the playfulness, uh, that all comes on stage. That's who I am, you know. I feel like I'm a happy guy. And uh, I, I want my music to... to portray that. If fans, or may not be fans yet, you know, if they can hear that, that fun side of it, we'll win them over. I think country music is based on the lyric. But I feel like with what I've done, and uh, the way that we cut music and the way that we play music, we draw from outside sources, so to speak. I think that uh, all those outside influences that I grew up on or am still finding, have influenced my music so much that it's gonna to appeal to such a broad spectrum of people and in a way kind of bridge the gap. And I'm so excited to get it out there and to get people to listen to it and connect to it because I know they will. So good so far.